negotiation. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Olay from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orlay would control us, and based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. Our real concern is Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years have been kind to you. How have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empress du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. Corypheus left a great deal of damage for us to repair. I appreciate your efforts. And I yours, Your Worship. I should mention that your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron Deschedin. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden Ambassador's concerns. You can probably just call her Liliana in private conversation. You can, Inquisitor. I prefer to use her divine name. Our last divine once joked about why I insisted upon calling her Justinian. She called it my way of reassuring her that I had not completely forgotten who was in charge. How do you think Divine Victoria has done these last two years? It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. With respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. Victoria is proving to be a woman that few dare to disagree with. She has already won concessions for the Inquisition. You are fortunate to have her support. I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The Divine sees the good that you can do and have done. Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Olay. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinta Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. The Imperium sent an ambassador? Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. It will be good to see him again. I owe him my apology. I allowed my distrust of Tevinta to cloud my judgment. He took a great risk coming to help us and deserved better treatment. You're going to apologize? To Dorian? I have little patience for those who cannot admit they were wrong, Your Worship. Myself included. I will have to make my apologies somewhere public. He will want an audience for his reaction. Who is returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras. For one, I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. Enjoy time with them while you can, Your Worship. I doubt you will have a chance once the Exalted Council is underway. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This Exalted Council... Ferelden would have the Inquisition disband. Olay sees its power as another feather in a Chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? The Inquisition still has work to do. We can't let someone's fear push us into disbanding. Then I wish you luck in the negotiations to come. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer.
It's been quite a day so far, has it not? I've been speaking with representatives from everywhere. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the Council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. Is this in your daily notes? Three to four o'clock, idle chat with the Inquisitor. Of course not. <clears throat> not precisely. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Very much so. In all the years you worked with Orlay, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. Perhaps you're right. These meetings and talks don't allow for much leisure time. And then back to Skyhold without a moment's pause to take in where we are. With all that's been happening, I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. Thank you for thinking of me. I'd be delighted to attend. Splendid! I will arrange things at once. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. A calm night out sounds... Oh, bravo! Bravo! This was your idea of a restful evening? Oh, wasn't it lovely? It's been so long since I've gone to the opera. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Truly. That part with the glittery... Oh, and they actually set fire to... Oh, yes, I truly enjoyed it. Then I call tonight a great success. Oh, look! The encore signal! You there! You're to dodge, not catch! If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. <laughs> you... found a dog? They don't breed Mabari in Olay. The merchant said he was abandoned. Perhaps his owner's tired of the novelty. Tire of you? With that positive attitude and fetching ability? He's not supposed to fetch it. I don't think you understand how this works. Another Ferelden trapped at the Winter Palace. I couldn't leave him to that fate. Besides, I think he likes me. You could take him to Ferelden sometime. He should know where he came from. I did promise my sister a visit. She might try to spoil you. <laughs> Remember who you report to. <coughs> the Inquisition will change after this. I'm not yet sure what that will mean. Still, I've found certainty in my life now. The Council won't change that. Marry me. I mean, will you... Uh, uh, I had a plan, and uh, it wasn't a dog, but you were... Uh, it doesn't matter. I've thought of little else, and I don't need a plan. 
Only to know if you would. I would. Colin, I will. You will. People will notice the Inquisitor marrying her commander in the middle of the Exalted Council. It won't go over well. We know a few people who can keep things... secret. Just know, everything feels like it was worth fighting for. It was. This is... This is the part where you make a promise. Oh, right. <clears throat> I swear unto the Maker and the Holy Andraste to love this woman the rest of my days. Darling, you made it. Excellent. I shared your disappointment ages ago, and they do appreciate punctuality. Appointment? With the Imperial Garden Spa, of course. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Of course it is, darling. That's the only kind I have. What are the cheese wheels for? It pains me that you even have to ask. You've clearly been living too long in barely civilized conditions. <laughs> Did you hear something? Relax, darling. It's spa day. How have you been? It seems ages since we've spoken. How are things with our dear Commander Cullen? I would never kiss and tell, Vivian. You know that. Merely expressing concern for your well-being, my dear. Someone ought to. You must be keeping very busy. Someone has to keep the mess that's been made of Thedas' institutions of magic from flying apart. Don't you feel better, my dear? This place really does work miracles. What happened? Darling, it's spa day. Don't fret. You'll undo all the good they've done. Come along, Inquisitor. They have other appointments, you know. Divine Victoria, am I interrupting? Of course not, Inquisitor. I was catching up with Redcliffe's Arles. He's here to represent Ferelden at the summit. Inquisitor, good to meet you. How are things in Redcliffe, my lord? We still come across scars left by the Venatori, but the land continues to mend. I'll try not to keep you from more important matters. Very well. We'll continue this later, your perfection. Many are frightened of the Inquisition's power, but I will do all I can to allay their fears. When world powers want to discuss plans for the future, I get nervous. Good. Someone should keep you on your toes. We don't want you to get bored, Inquisitor. 
I have much to do, but let me say this. I may no longer be your spy master, but I am always here if you require. I'm glad you finally arrived, Inquisitor. The Crown's anxious for news. And your thoughts on Ferelden's position? The breach is long gone, yet Skyhold's army remains. Ferelden can't continue to ignore soldiers on its borders. I appreciate knowing where Ferelden stands. You are owed that, Inquisitor, especially here. These Orlesians will talk circles around you before you get a simple greeting out. I won't keep you longer. We'll have words enough when the Exalted Council begins. Orle is on your side, Lord Parvis. The Inquisition's support is not a thing to lose lightly. Which is why the Orlesian court is circling it with a net and collar? But you'll have to excuse me. I see an old friend I must greet. Inquisitor, how long has it been? Don't actually tell me. I despise feeling old. It's good to see you, my friend. You arrived ahead of me. I hope all's well. It's everything I expected. We've been spared the burden of surprise. Orle wants the Inquisition tamed, Ferelden wants it gone, the Chantry medals, and Tevinter sends but one ambassador. That's me, by the way. A reward for my interest in the South. Thankfully, Ambassador Pavis is a token appointment. Call on me as you like. Inquisitor, Duke Cyril Montfort, member of the Council of Heralds and Lord of Chateau Hain. I have long followed your work. It is extraordinary. Is that sentiment shared by the rest of the court? <laughs> of course. Orle wishes only to offer respectful guidance to the Inquisition. Does your grace feel the Inquisition should continue to rule itself? I would rather see the Inquisition join us freely than be carved into pieces for the chessboard. I have not forgotten Justinia's death. I had friends who perished at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. More than the good you have done, it is a good we may do together I don't wish to lose. Whatever happens, Inquisitor, I wish you well. I just realized I'm greeting my wife. I rather like this. As the most eloquent dwarf you know, Sparkles... Speech! Speech! Way too much speech. Varric, there's really no need. What's going on? Inquisitor! You're just in time. Sparkles, the Imperium doesn't deserve you. Or wants you. It, it may even kill you. But we'll miss you. If it counts. And you didn't know. Okay, folks. Time to take the party elsewhere. <laughs> Tom and never wanted any. I swear. Uh, leave him.
It's true. When the Exalted Council has ended, I'm going back to Tabinta. For good, this time. You know I'll miss you. Naturally. My father is dead. Assassinated, I believe. I received notice this morning. A perversely cheerful letter congratulating me on assuming his seat in the Magisterium. We only met a few times while I was home. He didn't say anything about keeping me as his heir. This ambassadorship, his doing, I'm told. He must have wanted me away when the trouble began. I have to go back. So you'll truly be a Magister? Oh, yes. I can't wait to degrade the Magisterium with my presence. A new outfit is required. And then what? I find my father's killers and kill them back. Then I find those giving Tevinter a bad name and kill them. They're most likely the same people, so that should make the job easier. You'll need help. I could go with you. Not this time, my friend. I won't be entirely without support. Mayveris has gathered other Magisters who feel as we do. We'll be an actual faction in the Magisterium. I'll teach them manners, take them shopping. It'll be fun. I know it was complicated, but I'm sorry about your father. Thank you. It still doesn't feel real. You don't have to go back, Dorian. You put it behind you, you still could. Give up a golden opportunity for martyrdom? Perish the thought. A present. A going away present. It's a sending crystal. Amazing what friendship with the Inquisition gives you access to. If I get in over my head, or you're overwhelmed with sorrow for lack of my velvety voice... Magic. What? You didn't think I would just leave and you'd never hear from me again, did you? You are my dearest friend. Perhaps my only friend. That will never change, no matter where we are. Now, let's finish the good wine before the others get back. All's well, it seems. Oh, yes. The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Of course he did. Just... Put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchants Guild. And the captain of the city guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. Inquisitor! Andraste's ass, am I ever glad to see you! Are you in some kind of trouble? What's happened this time? Ah, so suspicious. I'll have you know I've never been convicted of anything. Officially. Uh, this is Bran Caven. Until recently, he was the Viscount... Provisional Viscount. ...of Kirkwall. So why is he here with messages from the Merchants Guild? I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. You're the Viscount of Kirkwall now? Well, it seems the two of you have a great deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? So... It turns out, you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city-state, the nobles give you the worst job they can think of. That's fantastic. You'll make an excellent Viscount. I think the nobility figured, after Dumar and Perrin, what's the worst that could happen if we put the dwarf in charge? They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got underway. I got you a sort of present. It's official recognition of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a Comtesse now. You can't actually do that without... Too late. Already did it. You should stop by Hightown sometime to see your estate. It's pretty nice. For Kirkwall, anyway. Proper disposition of empty estates is supposed to... 
<clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? <sighs> this is possibly too much, Varric. I don't know what to say. That's nothing. <laughs> Practically nothing. Don't mention it. Oh, that reminds me. It's the key to the city. You can't give that away without approval from the Council and a special ceremony. It... It's just symbolic, anyway. It controls one of the giant chain nets in the harbor. Really? That is so much better than I thought. This operates those giant chains. Can I try it? No. I don't know how this Council thing is going to end for the Inquisition. But whatever gets decided, you've got a place lined up in Kirkwall if you want it. Also, uh, control of the harbor, I guess. Anyway, you should meet with the diplomats. And we'll get in a game of Wicked Grace before I go back, though, right? I wouldn't miss it. Don't bet any public buildings this time. Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Glimmering, glittering, perfect cut, mask, a maze of gemstones. She will think it pretty. Excuse me, I might, um... You're useful to have around, Cole. He wants stones the color of his eyes. Happy, bright, beaming, being seen, not seeing. And I needed the table. For breadcrumbs? Birds like breadcrumbs. <laughs> Inquisitor, how good to see you here. I came to sit and pen another song. Sweet songs, poignant pain plants joy that grows later. She can't see me. I help her help people. I gathered. You're smart and kind. You're worthy of true love. Hello, Halam Shiraz! The fire of Zither must be fueled by wine, ideally shared with adoring fans. But not with him. You need somebody nice. Yes, better. He'll be gentle. So will you. You're with the Chargers, are you not? I've seen you in the Skyhold Tavern where I sing. Oh, yes. I, I love your songs. Sometimes I'd sit up on the chair to take a better look at your songs. The Chargers have their own song, if you'd like to hear it. Good. You're sure they'll both be all right when Krem tells her. Strong arms, a sweet voice. Father wanted me to be happy. Which one of them is that? <laughs> both. Inquisitor Herald. Glad to be back for whatever it is this lot have shoved up their sleeves. Just right up in there. That's it? It's been some time. Well, we don't know what's what, so what's there to go on about? It's Inquisition business, innit? That's all we are. Maybe sort out how they want to mess with us. Then there'll be something to talk about. Worship, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I need you to keep the chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. Got it. It's for his birthday. Didn't ask, Krem. All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Hey, boss. Good to see you.
You know what, Bull? I really like hitting things. <laughs> I know, right? We have the best job. <sighs> good to see that the veil has largely healed now that most of the major rifts are closed you might think otherwise but the veil isn't technically a physical barrier it's more like a magical vibration that repels the fade hmm Do you think news of the Exalted Council could affect the Lyrium shipments from Orzammar? Uh, maybe. It's fascinating to see the remnants of Syrian culture here. Most of it was deliberately erased during Orlesian unification, under the reign of Mathrath's son, Isarath. Uh huh. Did you know that Ferelden has its own names for lords? The country is divided into Ternirs, governed by Terns. Inside those are cities and Arlings, ruled by Arls. And then there's the Benorn. It's a large area of countryside ruled by multiple bands. Good to know. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys! You got me! Well met, your worship. Oh. Is everything all right? Yes. Well, I wanted to speak with you, and now you're here. This seems serious. It's not about me. It's about you. Maybe you should sit. I can stand. Maybe I should sit. Inquisitor, I want you to know that I am your friend. I will always be your friend. Oh, well, that's... So I hope to give you sound advice on this momentous day. Do what is in your heart, my friend. No matter what anyone might tell you. That's... a lovely sentiment, Cassandra. Marriage is much more than a lovely sentiment, Inquisitor. Marriage? Cullen is not hard on the eyes, I'll give him that. But if you truly intend to... You're not proposing to anyone. I am going to kill Varric. Why do I believe everything he says? Why? Cullen and I already eloped. You did? Here in the palace? Oh, the garden would be perfect for a wedding. Being Inquisitor has brought you good things, many good things. But only a few have been by your choice. Take what happiness you can from those and do not let them go. That is all I meant to say. Advice from a friend for the days to come.
Thank you, your holiness. Now, Artigan, as to your concerns... The Inquisition established an armed presence in Ferelden territory. You outright seized Kaer Bronnock in Crestwood. Yes, from bandits. Would you like us to give it back to them? Your help was appreciated two years ago, Inquisitor. Now order has been restored, yet you remain. Invading under pretext of restoring order is exactly what the Grey Wardens did to us centuries ago, and we exiled them. Now the Inquisition is doing the same thing with Grey Wardens in their ranks. Your concern is ill-founded. The Grey Wardens have proven their worth time and again. Of course Orle tolerates this interference. The Inquisition is the only reason Selene still has the throne. Rest assured, Tegan, the Empire of Orle will not stand idle if the Inquisition oversteps its bounds. Unlike Ferelden, however, Orle understands that these were the well-intentioned mistakes of a young organization. An organization in need of a guiding hand. Yours, no doubt. Pardon me, Inquisitor. Divine Victoria wishes to speak with you in private. My apologies. An urgent matter has come to my attention. Ambassador Montelier, can you handle this for a short while? I... of course, Inquisitor. This is highly irregular. Perhaps it would be best if we took a short recess. The guard said we should both see this. I believe she was correct. A canary warrior in full armor. How did he get into the Winter Palace? Would the Iron Bull know anything about this? I asked, and he is as surprised as we are. Since becoming Tavashov, he has had no contact with his people. He seems frustrated at not knowing more. So what would the left hand of the Divine see when she looked at this? This is a warrior, not a spy. Part of the Antam, the Canari military. Most of his wounds come from a fight against someone using magic, but at least a few are from a blade. He was badly hurt, separated from his allies, and made it here before he died. But how? We need to find out what's going on. Can Josephine manage the diplomats while I look around? She will be fine. It's all speeches and posturing for the first few days anyway. I will extend the recess as long as possible. I will also have our friends ready themselves for battle if need be. You think that's likely? I think the Exalted Council may be more exciting than we expected. came down over the railing. An active alluvian? If I'm going through it, I'm not going alone.
Morgan brought me here while showing me the illusions. Oh, but still, not bad. Blood trail leads to this mirror. Let us see where this Kunari came from.
Elven ruins. I'm not sure we're even in Orlais anymore. Another Kunari, dressed like the one in the Winter Palace. They must be from the same faction, both girded for war. Scorch marks everywhere. This is the work of a mage. The expended Remarkable. I'd say the spell was cast within the past hour. Over there, Kunari. If we want to know why they're here, we've got to get across to that island. Must have been set to guard something. <laughs> that was like Balefire. It claimed this was a refuge for elven slaves. You mean the ancient elves kept slaves? breath one more thing never to tell Daisy this whole valley was a sanctuary created by the dread wolf Fen Harel curious then that the Dalish speak of Fen Harel as a monster on the back, no blood on his sword. Someone took him by surprise. This can't have happened too long ago. The blood's not even dry. So, we're getting the band back together. That's exciting. We are not a band of any sort. 
Just because you can't carry a tune, Seeker, doesn't mean you're not front and center in our band of misfits. Helping former slaves as a mortal, not a god. He took great pains to renounce his supposed divinity. Ordinary guy saves people, accidentally founds religion. Sounds a lot like the chant, actually. To the Dalish, Fen Harel is the great deceiver. Perhaps that's propaganda begun by the opposing gods. The elven gods were just Evanuris, powerful but completely mortal mages. Ah! Are you hurt? The anchor flared up. It's fine now. Looks like it fits into that pedestal by the broken bridge. This place is horrid.
Kunari. Bashidan, the Inquisition doesn't leave alive.
Why did those Kunari attack the Inquisition on sight? Kunari never act without orders. A commander in the Kun must have given them. Are you saying the entire Kunari nation wants us dead? That's Fen Harel. Removing the face markings from a Dalish elf? Isn't this place older than the Dalish? Maybe the markings used to have a different meaning?
weapons. These freed slaves actually fought back against the Evanuris posing as gods. Elven mages who hoarded power and slaves? One could see parallels to Tevinter's magisters. You have a different breakfast room for every season? A century ago, it was in fashion to have a different room for every meal and every day of the week. When that fad ended, the Dukes of Ghislaine converted most of the rooms to closets. Storage is timeless. A note about an unknown intruder coming through an alluvian. They turned spirits against us, then fled. A mage. They must have fought their way out, then let the spirits finish off the Kunari. Two parties, then. The Kunari and a mystery agent determined to stop them.
something wrong. This mirror doesn't look broken, but it's inactive. Maybe there's a way to unlock it. since we've traveled together. I've missed it. Oh, you missed me. It. I said I missed it. One dead canary was bad enough. Now we have more, and they're hostile. This makes no sense. The canary may not be friendly to the Inquisition, but they have no reason to attack us. They also have no reason to be here, or using Illuvians at all. 
I've had the mirror placed under guard for now, Your Holiness. Colin, please just call me Liliana. Yes, Your uh, Liliana. It appears the relative peace and quiet of the last two years is coming to an end. First the Blight, then Mages and Templars, then Corypheus, and now this. Can't we go ten years without the world falling to pieces? We must ensure that the Kunari do not disrupt the negotiations. The Exalted Council is in a very delicate state. I'm certain you can soothe the nobles' ruffled feathers while we solve the real problem. Not when the Inquisitor insults everyone present by walking out in the middle of the talks. Our only advantage is that Orlay and Ferelden are divided in goal and grievance. If they unite against us, Divine Victoria will have no choice but to support their claims. We could lose everything. I know we're asking a lot of you, Ambassador. I promise, we won't make this any harder for you than necessary. My apologies. I will attend to the Exalted Council. And while Josie does that, we will investigate. We, Your Holiness? <sighs> you do, Josie? I'll head back to the crossroads. We need to find out what the Kunari are doing and why they attacked. And I'll have a quiet word with our honor guard. <laughs>